Hey, I haven't done anything in my shop in about two weeks, but here I've got some plywood that I ordered for possibly another bandsaw. And uh, other bits for the bandsaw here, and there's the blades here. I'm leaving those in the boxes because the virus could live on the surfaces for a few days, so best to leave that be. But in the meantime, on my 20 inch bandsaw, I've got something that I've never finished that I've been meaning to do all along and I think now is the time to do it because I have a few hours which is there's no belt guard here and the dust just comes out and it gets on the motor I cleaned that off uh, not long ago but uh, finally I'm gonna make a cover for it so for the most part I just need the rectangular piece of wood that goes against here with the slot for the motor the reason I hadn't built this dust guard earlier is because I was never quite sure about whether I wanted to keep this motor on the bandsaw but it's been on there for over three years, so I guess I'm keeping it. Now I just need to put a piece of wood in here and close this hole here. So while the glue dries on that, I need to figure out how to close the rest of the slot and actually have a piece that goes on the motor like so that provides belt tension. So I figure if I just make another piece like this that's bigger, that'll also cover the slot. So what this piece does is it braces the motor against the uh, frame. I just have to wedge it in there and that keeps the belt tensioned. I'm letting that glue dry on the heater just to accelerate that a bit. That closes it up pretty good, except for a tiny little gap up here. But I've got a piece of wood to put on here. The tricky part is screwing it on. If you ever wondered what that green color paint I'm always using is, it's basil pesto from Costco. Maybe now I can really call this bandsaw done. And the purpose of this guard is not so much to protect me from the belt, it's to keep the dust inside the machine so it doesn't get on the motor. And ever since I built this bandsaw, I just figured 20 inches is the size that all bandsaws should be, or bigger.